Hey gang, what's up? It's your pals from Monkey Edge here. This is Brady. Mrs. Monkey and I have just returned from Las Vegas from the Whirlwind Shot Show Tour. And of course, the mighty Tactical Knife Invitational, otherwise known as the TKI. For those of you who don't know, once a year, uh, the TKI, thrown by 5050 Productions, the crew, uh, Steve Delac, Kylie, and Cricket there do an awesome job and throw throw a, a, a very exclusive and cool event where the literally the world's best knife makers in the tactical genre are invited to a kind of an in, intimate event. There's a limited amount of tickets sold and they're really, the whole thing behind the TKI is that it, to try to encourage the makers to bring stuff that is, you know, ultra cool. They're, they're A-game stuff, either, you know, new stuff or, or stuff that, you know, is different from a quote-unquote normal show. So for this year, Rick Hinder took that opportunity to introduce a whole new model of folder. And we, you know, that's kind of a big deal in our world. So we wanted to kind of give you a down and dirty quick look at it. Um, the new model is known as the Eclipse. And the deal was is that there was 12 of them produced for the TKI. Um, each, each of the 12 was individually numbered on the blade. And they were all full customs and every single one of them was different, whether that be finishes or blade grinds. Um, you can see this guy here is number two of the 12. Um, and the grinds guys on these, I, I don't like to use the word sick because it sounds lame, but uh, uh, truly some sick grinds. Um, you know, this one is um, a Tonto without kind of, almost a Hisatsu type of profile. There's, there's not really, um, you know, the, the, the blunt reinforced tip. Um, notice this cool, slight harpoon sweat, upper grind, swedge grind here. Um, just flipping amazing. Um, all of the Eclipse models were full titanium frames and it is very similar to an XM18 but really incorporates a lot of the lessons learned that uh, Rick has figured out you know in the past dec almost decade of putting XM18s into hard use hands. One of the cool features on the knife is that and this is going to be hard to get in camera without actually taking the knife apart is that the interior of both the scale side and the lock side has machined pockets out of it. It's been relieved um, to save on weight. So you still get, you know, your full titanium construction knife, um, but, and s essentially have a skeletonized for weight reduction without looking skeletonized. Um, this particular configuration, you know, is all bronze titanium from the, you know, from the frame to the screws, to the standoffs, to the pivot, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and very cool knives, very ergonomic. They feel awesome in the hand. You know, just little touches, like notice this um, recessed area here that is just a natural place to put your thumb for, for choking up. Just the right amount of jimping on this blade spine here to allow you to, you know, choke up and do fine work. Of course, um, the action on all these was amazing. Tight as a bank vault lock up like you would expect from Hinderer. Um, just super cool knives. The plan is is to put the Eclipse into production sometime this year at Hinderer. Um, from what the gang is saying, there's not going to be any customs um, for quite some time, and none of them are going to have the embellishments and uh, you know the full to the nines configurations, the crazy blade grinds and such that were available at the TKI. So. Um, also check out how the the blades, you know, the thumb stud slash blade stop is, is, has been given a radius or rounded top and is slightly recessed so it actually is um, falls a little bit below the scale line, just a little bit lower profile, just kind of a neat touch. So there were, you know, let me give you a quick look here in comparison to an XM18, very similar in the size department and in terms of uh, construction because like I said this is taking that you know all the stuff that Rick's learned over the you know the past decade or so of putting out thousands of these things and, and incorporating into its own deal. So there's kind of a just a quick size reference here. You can see that they're both pretty close in size. Um, you know, XM18 is obviously a benchmark knife in our business, but I tell you what, the the Eclipse um, It'll be curious to see how it turns out in, in production format, but these, these customs are just, just off the Richter scale cool. So, so just kind of a peek at it. So 
This wasn't quite a full monkey production. Apologize for the mediocre lighting and whatnot. We just wanted to bring you a quick down and dirty look. Obviously a new folder model from Hinder Knives is kind of a big deal in our world, so we didn't, uh, we didn't want to delay. We wanted to get this out to you so you guys could see it and kind of give an idea of what it's like in the hand and all that good stuff. Um, don't miss, if you've ever had the opportunity or if you have the chance to go next year, don't miss the TKI. Make sure you register as soon as they uh, announce that it's open because it always sells out and people are always scrambling for tickets. So don't make a say. I told you so. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. See ya.